welcome back. So let's try and have a look again at our list component right here. Now you'll notice right now, if you're looking at routing, we know that right now we're at the root of our route right here of the submodule. And that pretty much means that right now when we're looking at the product list component, it just says slash product. So it would say something like this, slash products, and there's nothing after that, right? That would be that would be the route you'll be looking at right now to kind of to kind of work with this. Where up here, when we click the button for the ad, it should actually go to slash products slash ad like that. That's that's the second route, right? So these are the two routes, and I want to test when I start out. I'm in this route, which is nothing. That's what I want to do this test. And next lesson, I want to prove that when I click the button, I'm being moved to this route. Um, so the ad route, right? So that's kind of the test I want to do in the next couple of lessons. Now you have to understand the reason that this is working as it is, is because we have the main routing module, which says you always, when you go to this child, the product module, you always use slash products in front of it. So that means that when I go here, I'll always end up with slash products out of the box, right? So I don't have to put that in anywhere in my tests because I'm in a submodule and I know that submodule will take care of adding this in front of my route. So this will not be necessary in the test. I just need to figure out if when I click one button, the add button, I'll go here. And if I start out, I'll start right here where there's no route at all, right? So that's kind of the goal. Let's try and do the test. We have to do a few things. First, we need to set up a router that's kind of similar to the router we have right here. Now you have to remember, when you're running tests, you don't have the modules, you don't have anything inside the module. So you have to build everything from scratch yourself in the test to make them isolated. And in our case, we need to go into our tests and create a fake router. Now, instead of creating a fake router, we can actually use something that Angular provides called the router testing module. So that's something that Angular already made for us to make it easier for us to test our routes. Thank you. Now what we can do with such a testing module is we can actually add with routes right here, which is a function. And in there you can pretty much just add the routes like you're used to, right? So here I have a route that says, when I hit the route called slash add in my case, just get a dummy component. Now the dummy component is very simple. Let's try and jump down there. It's just creating a basic component right here. There's no major thing in this component. All we're doing is we're explaining it's a component and then we're putting in just curly brackets with a template that's just blank. So it's just, there's nothing in there, right? It's a completely brand component. I only use it for testing purposes so that I know that when I go and hit that route right here, the add route, I'm getting back some kind of component. I couldn't principle start adding the add component in here, add product component or product add component. I could start putting that in here, but that would create some new dependencies because this guy needs some new things uh, to kind of run. So that's what I want to avoid. Instead, I'll just put in the dummy component right here because I don't want to start getting more dependencies. I just want to know that when I click that add button later, I want to know that I'm getting to this specific route. That's all I'm going to use it for, okay? Now, the final thing I want to show you guys before we actually move on is the first test that I'm doing. Now, when we go down below the button test right here, what I'm doing here is actually a very simple test, just making sure that I actually navigate to, before I click the button, I'm actually navigated to the root of this Area. So that means I want to make sure that I'm actually right here before I click that add button. Just to show you guys how simple it is. So the cool thing is that when you go to the spec file right here, you actually have a location that you can get from the test bed. Now that location is actually a way for us to actually know what path are you at right now in the browser. That's amazing. So that means that I can use this location now to actually say when you've got the location, go and take the path, current path, and all I have to do is then test that that current path is blank right now. And that means that right now I'm at the root of my project, and that makes sense because I'm actually inside the list component. So that's kind of the test right here, just saying, when you're in the list component, you should actually be in the root of your project, right? That's a simple test again, and it makes sense. Good, so now I know that works, and the cool thing here you should kind of get is that you can actually use the test bed to get pretty much any service or component or anything you need in your test, you can go and grab those if you don't have them already and just get local references to them right here. And then you can use those references to kind of make tests for your code, right? So that's what I'm doing right here. So that's a very simple test. Again, this guy is just testing that right now you add the right path, nothing else. Next lesson, we'll try and actually add the button click and see that we are still at the right path. So that's it. Thanks for your time. See you next time.